GitHub in uh, less than an hour ago just launched this GitHub Copilot, an AI pair programmer. So if you go to copilot.github.com, you'll see exactly a technical preview. And what it is on the front end, it looks a lot like autocomplete. You see, you know, um, this person defining this function in Python and then it's automatically showing up as this Copilot um, function. Um, and so you can't immediately test this and download this as a VS Code extension. Again, it just dropped. And what they're looking now is for uh, basically beta testers to, uh, to give feedback on um, this extension. But um, if you look at, let's just look at how it works. So on the back end, um, OpenAI, the Codex model, is feeding in to the GitHub Copilot service. Um, from the, the file that you're on, it provides editor context and it provides suggestions. And then um, it, it improves suggestions based on, you know, whether you actually select that piece of code or you alter it to a new one, um, or if you adjust and toggle um, internally. And so here's some frequently asked questions I think is very important. Um, so this copilot code doesn't um, assure it compiling or running so that's very important to note it really just um, recommends the best code um, and it only um, got this right you know uh, 43 percent of the time um, and uh, yeah and 57 percent allowed 10 attempts so I wouldn't use this if you're relying on a big project but for people who um, or just anyone who wants the suggestions on what code pieces that might work um, I think this will not only improve with more users um, but um, will you know provide some context to how to code better and and, and change with different workflows. Um, I think it's akin to being able to click um, a an object and then go to that file. I think it will just dynamically change our, our workflows. And so um, the way that you um, uh, and also just to another context about it, like it doesn't even use other files so if you're using a declaration in another file and instead of that right here um, it won't necessarily put that into context and for large code bases so they're recommending you know using this for large code snippets but for large code bases and based on the accuracy um, and based on it not even compiling or running I would not recommend this to just automatically fill large bases of code but the way that you sign up is um, and the link is here you just go to sign up and it'll take you to this link, GitHub, Features, Copilot, sign up, and then you sign in to join the waitlist. So I'm going to sign in and show you that real quick, but it's pretty simple. And then I uh, cut off um, the top part. But um, so it's like I was saying, it's access is limited to a small group of testers. You just say, how often do you use Visual Studio Code? Um, let's say every day. And then I agreed to the terms and you literally just join the waitlist um, and you can start using it when they send you an email. So I don't even know what it looks like or what the beta testing looks like. I'm just really letting y'all know this just dropped. You can sign up. Um, this is very interesting and I'm glad to see you know where um, this takes.